beat the fuck for my country and my freedoms. All right? And guess what? I'll do it today too. Because you can't take that from the back. All right? And expect us to fucking stand here and take it. You have right, I'm gonna go fast with my boy. Damn right I did. And damn sure I got that presidential award for it. And I may be noble, but god damn it, I'm trying to instill my children to be better than I was. How many of us are doing it? Dear Lord in heaven, I pray that they will bring me my shit like men because I deserve it. They're mine. And God damn it, somebody's got to protect us because right now, ain't not a fucking American standing up for America. Except me, maybe. Because I've been, I, ball, I brawled on the streets of Michigan today for what I believe in. Y'all motherfuckers are just saying, Okay, well, we can do it another way. All right, well, do we do it another way? But if you always fold, guess what you're gonna do? You always fold. You'll never stand up to shit. That becomes a standard, op standard rule of thumb. Just like they do with our damn freedom. Because they're taking our constitution away, making a martial law, and fixing the fuck us all. Because down there, the motherfuckers are stealing it all. Pipeline. He's got a point. I know, because I built a tank up in Main Street, and as fast as they could pump it in, it was going out. So, yeah, yeah I must say, America, I am ashamed of the people and the lack of honor, integrity, loyalty. And fucking the most important one, no man left behind. Y'all gonna fuck me none as soon as my fucking thing is bad though. I don't want to be a part of that. Yeah, why, why was you there? Oh, because you wanted to be a part of it then. When it got bad, you didn't want to be a part of it now. Why? Because shit's getting real. so real that we lowered our GPA standard for other people who don't give a fuck about it. We let them come in our homes. We let them come in our country freely from the fucker. And you think that's fun or nice or happy? Hell, I worked five and a half years at the hotel. That motherfucker wouldn't even let me in one of his hotels. I work for all five of the fuckers. Tell them all the same. I do the fucking job best I can. But if this way you want me to do it, and I gotta redo it. You know what he said to me? Do it the way I tell you. If you gotta redo it, I pay him. No, motherfucker, that's not how this works. If I'm doing the work, I'm gonna do the work right. So I don't gotta go back and change the shit and do it again because you're a fucked up shit. Right to be mad. We just banned more terror cells today in the little bit of time today than most motherfuckers have done in a lifetime. That's not me just talking about it, it's a fucking fact.
Walk around the edges. Terminal out ain't so good. Guess what? I guess if you don't if you don't sugarcoat shit, it won't taste like sweet shit. Journey cone of 35 years, and guess what? If I want to do something, I'm gonna do it. I've earned the right on 53, and I can. These motherfuckers here will fold. They're bitches. Not here, not like this. But <laughs> well, I tell you what, these people here, look, I'm gonna beat the fuck here. All right? Beat the fuck for my country and my freedoms. All right? And guess what? I'll do it today too. Because you can't take that from the back. Alright? And expect us to fucking stand here and take it. I knocked the motherfucker off his feet today. Oh, you gonna see the broken ribs? Alright? I crushed him. And I'll still stand tall for my goddamn country. You know why? Because we don't fold. See any insignia on it? I'll gladly show you. I read it off, but if you can get a picture of it. There you go, turn your light on. I don't know if you see it. There you go. That's a journey coin. What? One second, let me get this locked up. You see it? Light room. Come on over to light. It's light right what here. What is this for? Huh? Yeah, what what for? is it? Drug is drugs, alcohol anonymous, AA. I, NA. Yeah, I've seen oh, it okay. before. It's a five star one though. You know what There's five stars on that coin. So you're clean. It's over. It's uh, been a couple of three months. Three months? Yeah. That's very good. That's really good. You know? Everybody has slips. I tell you this, if you ever done drugs and you've been an addict, you'll always be an addict. Because everybody can fall back and do it again. Right. Doesn't make you an addict, it makes you laughs. Alright? But people want to fucking throw you down for laughs and, and beat you in the ground. Bust you up. And guess what they're doing? They're tearing your morale down and they're tearing us down. A little bit of kind words to help for everybody, won't they? Mm -hmm. I have a thing. Well, all they want to do is fucking tear you down, talk shit about you. When you ain't home over there trying to fuck the old lady, treat you like shit. Yeah, that's what fuckers do today. And I'm saying it ain't cool. You do what you want to do in your own home. When you bring it out in the streets and you make us look like shit with it, there's a problem. I don't like you switch you shit out Hey, 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 come back over here. Come back over here. What? I want, I, want to, I want to ask you some questions. Why you want to ask me questions? Well, I want to learn. What do you want to learn? What, what I'm, I don't know, whatever you tell me. How old are you? Uh, over 50. I'm over 52. What kind of questions do you want to learn? Because if you're over 50, you should have been thinking a lot more are you, about what you wanted to know. Are you homeless? Yeah. You are? How long have you been homeless? 
over all the bullshit that's happening. So, how long have you been homeless? Since 2010, right? Yeah. And that because they took me fucking five years of prison, child support on a double enhancement, right? Double jeopardy on class C and class D, the Curtis Hill fucking gave me. And run them consecutive. Yeah. That pretty much diminishes your credibility, huh? No. But the judges know. At least I'll tell the truth about it. Win, lose, or draw. If it helps me, it helps me. If it don't, it don't. But if I got a life kick it, I'm a bitch. Yeah. That's what that is. And if I got a sugar coat, short chain, or not tell the whole truth, there's room for fuckery in the game. So you've been, you've been, when, I'm sorry, homeless for how long? What does this have to do with the fucking matter at hand? Well, what is the matter at hand? The matter at hand is, I walked your fucking celestial fucking mile around this fault line. And got you, you and for 20 fucking years are fucking the bottom falling off this, what they're doing to us. All right? And I got it where we get at least the time. Because I tried to set the clock. Why is the bottom falling off? Why? What? Because Saudi Arabia yeah. is taking our fucking oil from up here and pumping it down there, making us look like we're fucking using it all, and they're stockpiling it. I proved it. I ain't talking shit. Is that why it's so cheap? Huh? Is that why they oil so cheap? Yeah, because we fucking t took our shit back. So we can become buoyant. You know what that means? Float? Yeah. So we can get our fucking axes back. I did the North and South Equator today. Yesterday. Walked it and got on the line. And then came here? After I had to fight for it. Motherfuckers want to jump and fucking run. Yeah. This is America we live in, right? Where? How long, how long has the fault line been fucking broke? I don't know. Been over a hundred fucking years. You know there's a crack like that in the fucking our crust? Yeah. You pay attention to that? I've seen something yeah, about it. Yeah, it was pulling apart. Yeah. You know why? Because mm. it's sucking you all out and the fucking we're being pulled apart by the gravitational pull because it's not spinning. It's off its axis. And that's why they're becoming the superpower because our, our ball, our clock down in London, Runs off a fucking sundial up here. And I got a ninth grade education with a GED. You understand me? Mm -hmm. I got 19 credits in college. And I busted my ass to learn everything I could the proper way. What did you study? The business management. Everything you can sell. I'm under the sun in school. All right. I took a three. A 301 course on business management and aced it with a ninth fucking grade education. The difference between a ninth grade education and a GED and a diploma took you 12 years to find out you were still dumb. Took me nine years to figure out I was dumb, got out of it, started learning life lessons. Because God damn it, you'll learn more in life lessons than you will in a fucking book. Because they're changing our history every day. You're right there, brother. You're right there. <laughs> they're not taking down their shit against us, are they? Are they giving our gold back that they got on their buildings? Because that's who got it. Because they're fucking us, you are. Restaurants, our fucking hotels, and the gas stations. Because we don't own none of them. We sold them. Why did we sell them? Because we wanted people to come over from our country. Well, do you go, can you go to another country and get tax-free money for 10 years? Fuck no, we're American. They don't like us. You know why? Because we're a fucking minority. Well, guess what? I'm one against all. I'm the minority. But if you don't think I won't fucking get it in, all right, you got me fucked up. Because guess what? This is still America, where you come for freedom, he comes for freedom, and every one of these summits is coming here for freedom. And guess what? They ain't got to pay no way to be free in something they don't give a fuck about. That's pretty fucked up. What do you think about, what do you think about this Ebola virus? The Ebola virus? Or I Ebola mean Corona, virus. the coronavirus. It's a fucking myth because they had a problem. God damn it, don't you understand? What was the problem? They couldn't tell us why we were gonna die. Why are we going to die? I didn't hear it. I didn't get yeah, it. Yeah, I didn't get it either. We, we, no, he asked you what you thought about the coronavirus. We, we can't. We can't hear over traffic. Goodbye.
I don't need to be dumbed down by stupid. Well, here, I want to give you something. What? Here. Been over here fucking 20 times, you ain't gave me shit. Well, you, you, I wasn't. You walked I away. I didn't know you were done. Hard times are real. I didn't you know you. Ask the question, but you don't know the question. He didn't understand. He didn't understand the question. I, I got, I got a little bit of money I want to give you. What? <laughs> I just a couple dollars. No, you let me. You know know. why? You know why? No, you keep it. Because guess what? At the end of the day. I didn't ask you for this. No, you didn't. All right? I didn't beg you. No. And just, I, if I'm you don't need it, don't use it. I'm giving it to you. Yeah, you didn't ask me. Thank you for the gift. You're welcome. Here, guess I, what? I got a gift for you, too. Thank you. Yep. Listen, I'm saying, I'm not against nobody. Yeah. All right? But if we can't collectively find out a fucking way to work as one, or at least partial, all right, on a, on a collective matter, your children, his children, his grandchildren, your grandchildren, We'll pay a dear price. All right? I hear you. And I'm sorry, I don't want to be a part of a child, or any child, to be fucked because we're stupid. Our national debt is trillions of dollars because we want to run up a bill, file bankruptcy on it. Who do you think he's that debt? The kids. Yeah. So, I paid off your debt. I did that. National debt's gone. Now you gotta be paid for what you do. And there'll be no more bankruptcy. You know why? Because bankruptcy is for fucking people that can't fucking hold their mud. Run up billions of dollars in debt because I want to eat like a king living on a fucking Jack's money. So I'm gonna run the credit card up and fucking not pay, but the minimum. And the taxes will eat us up. When the taxes get over the premium, they'll file bankruptcy. You know why? It's easier to do that because they can get a card right back when, like that. Because they know you can't file that for seven more years. I don't know. Does it make sense to you? It surely does to me. Without work and effort, you can't prosper. We knew that as kids, right? Right? You know that? Mm -hmm. If you don't go mow the grass, the motherfucker's gonna overgrow you. You work twice as hard to get it done. It don't make sense. Why are we fucking ourselves just to fuck ourselves more? And when I ask these questions to people like the BA administrator, well, what do you want me to do? Your job? If I tell you something, you write it down, type it in, and then you don't, Type in what I tell you. Them are not my words. They're your thoughts. Yeah. So I can't get results on your thoughts and not my facts. Are you watching the news lately? At nope. All? You never watch. How can I watch the news? I got a TV. Yeah. Are you hearing what's going on? <laughs> I'm hearing we're fucked. Yeah. Quite a bit. How, how? Now what are you hearing? What is the? the what do you mean hearing? What, huh? What, what do you mean? What is it? What information are you getting? Let me see. Over 300,000 people died from the coronavirus. There's only about, what, 12, 13 now? There's, there's quite a significant difference to 300,000 and 2, 3,000. Right? Yeah. If you're going to report the fucking news, at least report the news. And truthfully, don't let live it. Don't fucking twist it to suit your thinking. And don't give no snippets. Yeah. Because guess what snippets do? They stop you from speaking the truth because there's parts of it not there. It's missing.